In this video, I'm going to show you why Dollar is the best defense in the game, specifically DB Fire 2, um, because of the pressure, the alignment, the symmetry, the adjustments you can make out of the formation. This is a really, really powerful defense this year. If you want to get my entire Dollar 3-2 defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. I will put a link in the description so you can go sign up. It's only $10 uh, to become a member, and it will get you access to all of my Mad 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. In this video, we're going to show you how to run Dollar against bunch tight trips, to maximize the pressure and simplify the adjustments so that you can be most effective. So what we're going to do real quick here for you guys is we're gonna talk first and foremost about why Dollar is so good. So from a coaching adjustments perspective, I believe Dollar is best ran with base align on. The reason why is because for whatever reason, the way the blitzers run off of the edge is significantly better when they are base aligned. Unless you're loop blitzing, I think base align is king for dollar. Next, we're gonna have our zone coverage set to match. And then from there, it's really up to you, kind of however you wanna play it. But watch this real quick. So the blitz setup is very simple. All you have to do, all you have to do is either press or manually press the slot corner. The, either one of those two. Now, walking the safeties down helps the blitz. Pass committing helps the blitz. And then you're going to kind of use her right in here. And the snap, you're just going to kind of swirl uh, over the middle of the field. So what I like to do is something like this. You know, we're, we know the pressure's coming in here. So come over here, boom. And you just see the pressure come in really fast. Now, if you time this, if you time the pressure, um, again, super simple setup. It takes less than a second to set the blitz up. 1001, 1002, the blitz is coming in. So you have less than two seconds to make a read and throw the ball accurately. So if you think about that and reverse engineer that, so if the average opponent is going to have less than two seconds to, uh, to throw the ball quick, then we want to design the defense in a way that is going to take away the reads on the field that take two seconds or less. Okay, so with that kind of thought process, what can we do to simplify defense for ourselves, okay? On the left side, if you think about it, what are the best things they can do? Really what I like to do is this. We're gonna walk this guy down. We're gonna man him up on the solo wide receiver. We're gonna hard flat that corner on the right. Now on the right side, think through what are the reads? What are the things they can do? And I think it's a really simple defense on the right side this year. All we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that soft spot and we're just gonna take that vertical hook and man him up on the tight end. We know that he's gonna take away verticals, uh, which is a very popular play against, uh, against this defense. And then really, like you're just lurking over the middle right here quick and you're just trying to lurk right in the the mid read kind of perspective of the of the court or of the of the field now another thing real quick about this defense and why it's so good specifically for bunch is bunch really revolves around um, a couple different things, but really one of the things that it revolves around is the ability to hit this corner route right on the right Okay, this is one of the main reads in the formation. Well, if you think about it um, you can recloud that soft squat, but what you if you think about it, that, that cloud will carry it for a little bit. Now, another coverage could look something like this, um, but that's still susceptible to vertical. So what I like to do is something like this, and if I see they're running that right there, I'm running to the corner. I'm taking the corner out on the bunch side just like that and forcing them to have to work through the solo wide receiver, which most people don't want to work through if they're running in bunch. The other thing is what you might have noticed, this is one of the coming back to why uh, I think dollar is really good against the blitz or, or why dollar is really good against every formation is because when they try to pick up the blitz, it's really hard to do so. So for example, like let's say, you know, again, let's say we did like street corner flat with a backside drag. Okay, we did this concept right here. We brought these guys down. Um, you know, you're kind of hovering right in here or whatever. But what you'll see here is they block a running back. Sometimes that guy will come off the right. Doesn't always. Another thing you get in dollars is really good disengages and stuff like that. So there's just a lot of value in this defense. If you want to loop off this side, you can try to. Um, I've done videos on that, uh, both in the Patreon and on YouTube. Uh, a little bit more expanded on in the Patreon. But you see, I mean, just good blitz. Okay. Now, same thing, same concept, but we're going to go to tight. So let's think through with tight for just a second. Like what's the main couple plays? Really it's flood, four verticals, mesh spot. Okay, so as we think about tight, how what's the route that can kill us? Well, what I like to do is this simple defense right here. I think this is the best 
the best way to defend tight, whichever side they're trying to throw the corner out, we're going to play this kind of cover three shell. We're going to have this backside. We're going to roll it to the to that side. And then we're going to have a backside cover two shell. Why this defense is good is because that flat will delay the read over the middle of the field. It'll also take away the quick flat. And then it allows me, from a user perspective, we know the pressure is going to come in super fast. So we can just lurk right in the middle of the field here. They don't have time to throw the corner out against this specific coverage. Now, another way that you can kind of set this up, depending on what you want to do, is you could put that guy on the right in an outside quarter. This right here, by and large, is a simple way to defend tight slots. Um, this defense right here, if you play the, about 80% of the players you play, this is going to stop them because they don't have enough time to hit the routes that they want to hit out of this specific formation. Let's talk about trips tight end. And that goes for tight offset too. Um, let's talk about trips tight end. So trips tight end real quick. What are the things they like to do? Really, it's really simple to defend trips. Just man up everybody on the trip side. So you see here, we're going to man up these guys. We're still sending this five man. I like to cloud over there and then put a third on the right. So essentially what we're doing here is by far the best way to defend trips is if the if the tight end runs a streak, if you think about it, what's the route combo? It's probably going to be something like this, okay? So if the tight end runs a streak, I know that I got to help on him. So if I see he runs vertical, I'm going to go right up here. If he keeps running, I'm going to run with him until I have to come down on the post route. And you see the pressure, again, two seconds or less, and you're getting sacked. Another popular uh, route combination would look something like this out of trip tight end. And what you can do here, again, I mean, just man these guys up, boom, and then put the guy on a third. And then on the left, I like to put him in a cloud. Uh, but what you'll see here is same kind of thing. He runs vertical. I'm going to go with him. The cross man, it takes, you see the pressure again, and it takes long for that quarter route to develop. So again, this is kind of the idea as to why this defense is so good. Uh, another route combo that a lot of people like on a trips would look something like this out of four verticals. So if they run something like this out of four verticals, I know that if that tight end runs to um, if that tight end runs to the corner, I don't have to defend him. So what I'll do here is I'll say, oh, okay, oh, he cuts to the side. I got to get back over there. Yeah, the running back's kind of open, but if I see you know that running back's coming on in route, it's almost always verticals. I can kind of bait over the middle and also have that guy on the left side that we could put him in a hard flat. Uh, if we wanted to as well okay a cloud hard flat all of those are really good adjustments and then the third will take away the c route every now and then if you want to only send four you can man up that slot corner on the tight end uh, but then the last route combo and probably the most popular is basically this right here um, this is does a really good job of defending this so essentially what we want to do again is we want to carry the tight end and then we want to bait down on the slant. So we're going to carry the tight end, bait down here, and then let him run into the cloud flat over the middle of the field. That is how you defend some of the best formations in the game with the dollar defense. Really simple version of it. If you want to get more advanced version of the dollar and really understand why it's so effective and how you can make it effective year over year, we're dropping something uh, on Monday in the Patreon that will teach you everything that you need to know, not only about dollar, but about competitive Madden defensive and defensive adjustments in general that will cross apply. I guarantee it's going to make you a better Madden player. It's made me a better Madden player. So make sure to join the Patreon if you have not already. The link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description of the video. For just 10 bucks, you'll get access to everything over at the Patreon.